Hey, it's Trailer Go Hunt. I'm getting ready to head out on a couple of elk hunts. Uh, rest of the month of September and then even the early part of October, I'm gonna be in the elk woods chasing elk with my bow. Uh, I wanted to run through maybe five of my preseason tips that I would give you folks that can help you be more successful in the field this fall. I know that for me, these are things that I've learned over the last 20 years or so of bull hunting bull elk uh, in September. So I'm just gonna jump right in and kind of run you through some tips and hopefully one of these or multiple uh, of these will help you be more successful uh, in the woods during September this year. So my first tip, weapon must be dialed, uh, absolutely dialed. Um, you know, if, if you find elk, it's great. If you can't kill them, you're not gonna come home with a bull on your pack. So your weapon has to be absolutely dialed, um, completely total confidence in your bow and your arrow setup. Uh, for me, that means having a bow that's completely tuned. I do all my own work myself. Uh, if you can't, you know, take it to a reputable bow shop. Make sure that your bow is tuned properly. Make sure that each and every arrow that you plan on taking on your hunt with you, with the broadhead, hits the exact spot that you need it to hit out to your effective range. So, you know, I would highly suggest getting your bow completely dialed to make sure that every single arrow that goes into your quiver this September is gonna hit the spot that you need it to when it comes down to crunch time. There's nothing like having complete confidence in your bow and arrow setup when you head into the woods. So I would say that is my number one tip. Doesn't matter how good you are at finding elk, if you can't kill them, you know, you're gonna go home and empty handed. So that's my first tip. My second tip, be mobile. Um, I don't think anything has helped me as much as this approach and this methodology uh, to hunting elk in September with a bow. And what I mean by being mobile is that elk are big, elk move. Elk might move a drainage, two drainages. You might bump a herd, they might go up and over the drainage and you think, you know what, they're gone, it's over with, that opportunity's done with. There's no reason that you can't stay with these elk. So be mobile. Um, I would say for me, this has been one of the most critical factors in me finding success every September is having a mobile setup. So what I'm talking about is living off your back, backpack hunting. You know, everything in your backpack in the morning, up, chasing elk all day, you know, going to bed at night, wherever it is that you end up, and then being back on that same herd, hopefully the next morning. So being mobile for me has been probably the single, I would say most important factor uh, in increasing my success every September. So be mobile, have a mobile camp and hunt hard. Uh, number three, multiple methods. Take what the situation gives you. Um, you might have done all your research, you might have talked to everybody on every forum, you might have looked you know, for hours and hours on Go Hunt Maps and found the spot that you think is absolute magic for elk. And you might get up into that area and you're gonna invest mileage and time and effort. Um, if you're backpack hunting, it takes a lot of effort to get up into some of these areas. And you might get up in there and you might find out that there are elk, but maybe there's no hot cattle, so maybe those bulls aren't bugling. But if you're seeing elk and you're seeing sign of elk, it means that there's elk in that area. Just because they're not talking doesn't mean that they're not killable. So you may have to adapt to what the situation gives you. So if you get up to an area, the bulls are bugling, ultimately that's what we all want. If they're talking, you know, be proficient with the call. You know, be good with a cow call, be good with a bugle. You don't have to be world champion class level caller, but you do have to be proficient with a cow call. There's a ton of good cow calls on the market, including, you know, the Phelps Easy Estrus. That's one of my all time favorite cow calls. I never head out in September without that cow call. If you're proficient with that, you can do you know, well in the elk woods when the elk are talking. If they're not talking, you know, maybe you don't have any hot cows in the air, but you're still seeing some elk, you're still seeing sign, you know, be adaptable. Find the water sources. You know, elk are a big animal, they have to water every day. So find the water, find the wallows. Um, spot and stock is still a phenomenal uh, way to kill a bull elk. Um, you know, they're a whole lot more stockable than mule deer, uh, make a whole lot more noise, uh, play the wind, but have multiple, uh, you know, tricks in your bag. So be able to call, you know, be able to sit a wallow, find water if you need to, or be able to spot and stock. You know, if there's elk into that area, you know, there's no reason you can't kill them. So just be adaptable and take what the situation gives you and, and go for it. Um, number four, take the first sure shot. Stop the bull, um, stop the bull. Uh, when a bull's coming into you, you know, he's coming in looking for a cow, he's going to be walking a lot of times. Uh, take the first sure shot. So that shot that presents itself, you know, pick out those windows, know the range. Um, I would say that's probably one of the biggest reasons that people miss a shot with their bow and arrow is that they haven't taken the chance to range a tree or a bush or a bull as it's coming in. So 
you know, range, have those lanes picked out. But when that bull walks into that lane and you know the yardage, make a cow call. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, elaborate. You don't have to be the best caller with a read and have that in your mouth. A simple, you know, eo will stop elk. Um, you know, if an elk hears me go eo, you know, he's, he's in trouble. So, you know, stop a bull, pick your first sure shot and make the shot. Uh, number five, go and don't stop. And this I think is probably, you know, when I talk to people that are successful every year, the guys that are out there killing elk every single year, this is a huge factor. Put yourself out there, go, you know, give yourself time in the field, you know, pick out a good window of time that you can be out in the woods, go for it and don't stop, don't give up. Um, I can think of at least two situations, one I'm thinking of, uh, I did a solo hunt in New Mexico, New Mexico one year. Uh, I had a bull, multiple bulls that were bugling, a big herd of cows, and they were just going drainage by drainage by drainage. I was limping along behind that herd, and there were two different times that I bumped that herd. Didn't bump them bad, but I bumped them bad enough that they just kept going. Um, I remember two times on that stock, I was going to give up. I thought, I'll never catch those elk today. But I had a mobile camp on my back, and I thought, why not just keep after it and see what happens? What I was able to do was follow that herd all the way until midday where they finally felt comfortable. They found a big north facing slope to bed down on. They kind of forgot about me. They'd moved into their midday bedding and I was able to slip in uh, and I was actually called a bull. He put his cows to bed. Bull came back to check out me and held a lone cow and I was able to air one to 45 yards. So, you know, I wanted to give up on that herd. I thought they were gone, but they weren't. You know, they were just going to that next pocket. So be mobile, go for it, don't stop. I think that's really one of the biggest key components to elk hunting is just don't quit. Just keep going, keep at it. So that's kind of my five tips. Um, you know, make sure your weapon's dialed, be mobile, have a lot of bags, or uh, excuse me, have a lot of tricks in your bag. Uh, take the first sure shot, stop the bull, uh, go and just don't give up. So you only get one September a year. You know, this is the time to capitalize. I can't tell you how excited I am to be out hunting. You know, I'm headed to Idaho, I'm into Montana. I'm super pumped and you only get one September a year, so make the most of it.